Hey my chickadees and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this Christmas inspired makeup look. I know for a fact that I haven't done a look like this on my channel yet for Christmas. I know last year I did a couple but they were more extravagant looks. I thought this one was super glamorous, super sexy, sultry, really Christmassy. And I just love the eyes guys. Like literally the shimmer on the eyes is cute me life i'm loving it if you guys do like this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up anytime during this video and if you like it already make sure to give it a thumbs up now otherwise guys without further ado let's go straight into this video i hope you enjoy and merry christmas hey guys so i'm starting off with bare skin today it's gonna be a full face tutorial like usual i if I, I feel like you guys like these ones the most then rather me skipping it so i'll go straight through my whole routine so I always like to moisturize and cleanse my skin. Ooh, ooh, that's the hair look today. Oh, it's one of those days. <laughs> but as I was saying, it's um, what was I saying? So I always like to moisturize and cleanse my skin about half hour before I get into my makeup routine, just to make sure my skin is hydrated. There's no dry, flaky skin on it, so it's nice and smooth and the perfect base to you know apply makeup on top of. So because I'm feeling in like the Christmassy mood, I think I'm going to take my master strobing. Um, liquid from Maybelline in iridescent and apply that literally all over the skin I want to be like a glowing goddess you know how it is girl so I'm going to literally just apply this everywhere not on the high points I just want to do everywhere today just because I feel like it so now I'm all glowy I'm going to go in and place some foundation over top so I'm going to use just one foundation today because I'm being a little simplistic bitch <laughs> I'm just going to take my Milani Concealer Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and it's in this shade 04 medium beige. Oop, mayday, mayday. We have a Pika Thrua. Uh, try to just conceal that in a little bit. Next I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige and applying this under my eyes and also down the center of my face to highlight. And I'm just quickly blending that through with my Sigma F86 Kabuki brush. The reason why we highlight the center of our face if we highlight under the eyes is so it kind of ties the whole look together. Otherwise you can look a little bit crazy or a little bit uneven if you've just got highlight under the eyes and nowhere else. Usually it's the center of the face that's quite bright. And then I'm just taking my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Beige and placing this on any spots that I want to conceal on my face. And then I just take my Kabuki brush and buff out the edges. And I'm going in and setting my face with my Glips Blur Powder. It's just a pressed powder and I'm just going in with my Chi Chi Beauty Sponge. It has a nice flat edge to it. I'm just going to pack on this powder, pressing it into the skin to set that concealer in place. And I also like to set anywhere just slightly that I've placed the concealer over those breakouts. Now for brows, and I'm actually going to film in a little bit differently today, guys. I know, like, oh my god. I'm actually going to use a brow pencil. I've really been enjoying doing, like, a brow pencil instead of, like, a brow powder just because I feel like it's a bit softer and I just, because I've been growing out my brows, I really like the kind of more thick brow, voluptuous hair look. I guess with a brow pencil. So in saying that, I'm just going to grab my LA Girl Shade Slim Brow Pencil and it's in the shade Brunette. I'm just going to start filling in my brows, keeping the head of the brow quite light and sparse because I like a more naturally-ish looking brow. And I do the tail quite dark. Then I just go and comb through my brow hairs with my Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm going to move quickly onto the eyes and then we can continue with the rest of the face in a little bit. So to prime my lids, I'm going in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and applying this over my lids for like a, like a neutral base. And I'm just going to set that in place with just a cream white eyeshadow just to help it stop it from creasing. Next on a 221 brush, I'm going to place some transition colour through the crease. It's a nice light warm brown. And I'm just going to place this through the crease. It's a couple shades darker than my skin tone. Perfect for a transition. I'm focusing on the outer part of my eye. So I'm only buffing it about two thirds of the way across. And also bringing it onto my outer V. 
Next, taking this warm brick brown shade, I'm placing that in the crease and out of V with the same 221 brush. I'm using very, very light pressure, nothing too compact or hard because I want it to be quite smoky and soft. Next, taking these two deep brown shades, I'm packing them onto the outer V of my eye and slightly, slightly through the crease. And I'm just packing it along the lash line first and then just like dragging it out towards the outer corner and slightly through the crease. So I'm keeping it focused on my eyeball, not past. And just packing it on. Then I'm just going to blend the edges with some of that brick brown shade in that same 221 brush that we used before. Next, grabbing this gorgeous, like, yellowy gold shade from my Caramel Melange palette named Almost Burnt. And I'm going to place this over the inner part of my lid. And to deepen up the outer corner again, I'm going to grab those two deep brown shades, but mostly that darkest shade, and re-deepen the outer V. And then some of that brick brown shade on that fluffy brush. And lightly dust some of that gold to help the, that blend in seamlessly. And finally with some of that transition shade we used at the beginning, I'm just going to buff that on the very outer edges of that brick brown shade. To just softly create a nice transition so it's nice and smoky. Once we've got everything blended seamlessly, we're going to move on to the final bit of the lid. It's very exciting. I want to use like a little bit like a pigment, like a loose pigment. So I'm going to go in with my Gorgeous Cosmetics Antique Gold like Loose Pigment. It's like an eye shimmer. I'm literally just going to pack this onto the center of the lid. I don't want it all over the gold that we just placed down. I want it to kind of transition into it because it's a kind of darker gold. Like a brownie gold. I don't know. And I want it to kind of transition so I'm just going to place it where the brown and the gold kind of meet. For like a center of the lid kind of part kind of thing. And if you feel like you need to bring some of that brown back, then just bring some of that brown back. Let me just zoom you guys in on the eyes. It's so pretty. For mascara, I'm taking my Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline and coating my lashes nice and black. Now, I always say you guys can totally leave it with natural lashes. I just want to go in with falsies to give you guys like an option of what lashes to pair with it. Or like, you know, give you the full look. I have plus lashes. Okay, so the lashes I've chosen to go in with today are the Icona Lashes from the Midnight Collection in the shade Make Him Miss Me. In the shade. I did that again. In the style Make Him Miss Me. And girl, these just go so well together. They're really perfect because they're just so wispy. And I just think wispy lashes for Christmas are just literally the bomb diggity. So I've got my lashes on but I want to continue with the rest of the face before I finish off the eyes just because I feel like it's one of those days where I just want to kind of mix it up. So first of all I'm going to bronze the skin and I'm going to go in with my Barbados Babe Micellin Bronzer. And you know what today guys, I'm going to bronze with my tapered bronzer brush from Chi Chi. Oh, I really like that finish with this Chi Chi brush. I haven't, I haven't actually bronzed with this Chi Chi brush in forever. It's been so long. And I just like do a little bit of like a bronze on my nose a little bit. And of course I'm going to take my breakup powder, so the contour powder from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to place this like chiseling out my cheekbones. You guys know how it is. So once we're nice and chiseled, let's go in for some blush. So I'm going to take an oldie butter goodie. I'm going in with my 9N Naturally Blushed Palette from Morphe. And taking this gorgeous, like really peachy, very rosy cheek kind of blush. I'm going to start by like starting on the contours of my cheeks and then bring whatever excess is left onto the apples because I want that really flushed kind of look. I'm going to go in and highlight favourite part of the look. So I'm going in with my Violet Voss palette, you know, the usual guys, of course. And I'm going to take Star Glow and place it on the high points of my cheeks. And then we're going to place Moon Gleam on like my nose, Cupid's bow, like the chin, like centre of the face kind of thing. Now keep in mind that Violet Voss like highlighters are quite like chunky. So if you're not really into that kind of chunky highlight, then I'd go with something more like more fine, like the Becca highlighters. They're very nice. They're nice and fine and 
they look more of like a glow than like a highlight I guess let's move on to the eyes and then we can finish off with the lips I'm taking espresso from makeup geek it's like just a brown a warm brown eye coal and I'm placing this in my waterline I'm just dragging it slightly underneath the lash line on the outer corner and grabbing those two deepest brown shades on a luxe precise shader brush from Zoeva. I'm just going to wiggle that product right over where we place the eye coal on the outer corner of the eye really closely to the lash line. Then taking that brick brown shade on a Morphe brush, I'm just going to wiggle that against those two deepest browns and just kind of help blend them out a bit more. Then taking that transition colour on a gloss pencil brush, I'm just going to blend out the browns in the outer part of the eye. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer and mix it with some of the Violet Voss highlighters, so Moon Gleam and also Star Glow, because I want it to be a bit more bronzier and like golden rather than like a more champagne like a champagne shade. And then I just place Moon Gleam right on my brow bone just for a little highlight. Then just place on some bottom lash mascara. Make sure you coat them nice and dark because the bottom lash line is so dark you want them to stand out against it. Boom babe, boom, the eyes are done. So for lips, I'm thinking like red because it's Christmas, why not splurge, go with the golden eyes, the red lip, like ooh. So I'm thinking I want to go in with the Colourpop succulent lipstick. Let's see how I go. I feel like this is like way too like fire engine red like I'm gonna commit but I don't know let's try this gorgeous cosmetics pout lip gloss over top and see how that goes with the color because this one's just a bit too neon like it needs to be more of like a crimson I guess I don't know I, don't know. I think it's kind of pretty actually quite not nah, yeah I like it I like it I like the real gloss the gloss is like turned it down a little bit just made it more of like a deeper red Okay, I'm happy with my decision. I'm going to go in and spritz my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Satin Spray. And this is the finished makeup look, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I know you guys know where the button is. And if you want to, to if you want to, make sure you subscribe before you leave so you guys can keep up to date with my latest videos. I'll make sure to bring out some more little Christmas tutorials and other goodies like that in this Christmas season. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you're watching this near Christmas, have an amazing Christmas. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.